Well, it's that time of year again, National Ceiling Fan Day, and I always try to make some sort of video related to this, and it's just it's kind of a fun thing to do, um, and I've done it for a while, so I'm just going to do a video tour of the fans in my house, because that's typically what people do for this, and I like making this type of content. Now, I did one halfway through the summer, but... In terms of ceiling fans, a bit has changed. This is a fan that's been added to my basement. It's the Harbor Breeze Typhoon. Pretty much to dry out the piece of shit washing machine when it smells like mold. And this fan gets used practically about daily. The other fan that's in here is this Lasco Ultra Force Box fan. Um, which I still need to restore. I actually have plans this winter of actually using this room over here as a somewhat of a secondary workshop. Um, I don't feel like spending the pricey price of kerosene this winter and continuing to work in a garage. So it might just be easier for me to work from down here. So possibly clean this table up. I have a sink to wash stuff in and I can figure out something to do over here. As well as a lot of this shelving, I'm not sure which we're, what, uh, what we're doing with yet. And I would like to attempt to move this shelving out to the garage and hopefully put fans on. But this video is mostly about fans, not future plans relating to fans. So I wanted to make a video now. This is actually recorded a few days prior to National Ceiling Fan Day. It might be uploaded a few days prior as well. And that's just because I'm um, home alone at this time, and I don't know if I will be later on. So, there's the Typhoon. I'm not going to run it through its speeds. This is where it's at now. The globe is off of it because I can't fit it on there for some reason. But, hey, that's what's going on. Well, we're on the upstairs level of the house, and as you can tell, I'm watching JK18. Um, this is the fan that I've been using in the living room this year. I got a Lasco... Cyclone or Performance Series or whatever fan at the beginning of the season to put in here, but the fan was just a bit too powerful. Um, about halfway through the summer, I swapped out with a 16-inch Lasco desk fan, and I eventually swapped that out with this when I picked this up for free off the side of the road. Um, this fan, I think it was actually just perfectly fine. I didn't really know why it was tossed, but I did continue to use this in here, and it's most likely going to be permanent for this room. It's a 16-inch Medea um, oscillating stand fan or mainstays. Um, there'll be a video of this in the future. I really like these. A long time ago, I had a Nantucket Breeze version that was white. Um, it was practically exactly like it, and it was a really good fan. In terms of ceiling fans, these are the two that are here. I added a fan over here, which I'll get to shortly. Now this is my Hampton Bay Sussex. This was the original fan that was really in this house. It used to be over there and was moved over here. And it's going to stay here. Um, I've replaced the Hunter remote with this Harbor Breeze wall mounted remote. Or wall panel, which has a remote receiver. So I can control the speeds through here, such as like the light dimming and all of that good stuff. Also even has like a little LED on it. Because of the LED lights in here, it kind of pulses whenever you hit a button. You get the lights. It has like a mechanical on and off switch, much like Casablanca's IntelliTouch fans. So, that's kind of a cool little wall console there. I wouldn't have to worry about the remote dying or anything. And one of the reasons why I put this in here is because I got the remote and receiver for a really good price. And the switch that was there was the broken. So, it made more sense to just replace everything. This fan has been really good. I cleaned it about halfway through the summer as well. Um, and it works fine. Over here is a 1992 Hampton Bay Littleton, or SMC Littleton, as this one was branded. This one's kind of odd. It doesn't have a black motor or Hampton Bay branding. 
Um, it didn't even say Hampton Bay anywhere on the box. It just claimed that this fan was called the Littleton by SMC, as well as it also said SMC on the motor itself. I swear I just heard a weird noise, but whatever. Um, put this fan up around the end of the summer. Well, about a month before Escalar started and the camera's blurry. And it's been up here since. This thing's kind of odd. It, ha it has a separate light kit, so it's not an integrated light kit. Um, it would have had a schoolhouse globe on it. Got this at Goodwill. I only paid like seven for it. It was in the box too. Stand here, it runs pretty good. It's smooth for a little tin, balanced it. It's been getting a good bit of use. Um, right here is a fan. It's actually my most recent fan acquisition. This is a Duracrest box fan made by Hunter. This is a fan I wanted to get for a while for my collection. It wasn't one I was necessarily looking for, but if I found one, I would get it. I remember Bruno Show 124 making a video of a fan, I think, just like this a long time ago, and I just thought it was kind of cool. This is practically a Hunter EXL. It's just rebranded. It's avocado green, seven blade, two speed, with Westinghouse motor. And I had a, I had my P23 Country Air in here pretty much after I got it fixed, and before that, it was my 2010 Weather Shield. So, um, I'm using this now, and I think this is the fan I'm going to use to end off this year in terms of window fans before I pretty much get any sort of other fan. But this one here runs really fine. I have these galaxies up here on display. Yes, I still have not gotten a brown 16-inch one yet. And these are both ones with wavy logos, by the way. I believe I have a window fan out here. Oops, all wrong switch. So the SMC window fan. This is also... This was something I picked up, I believe, at Goodwill over the summer. Cleaned it up, and I used this thing a good bit when I was staying over here. I like this fan. It's pretty nice. It has the digital controls, but um, I really like these early 2000s fans with controls like this. I think I made a video of it when I got it. I kind of like included it with an air conditioning update type deal. But there will probably be a dedicated video of this. Maybe I'll make one tonight. I don't know. Well, the upstairs is kind of the area where there's more fans. I think I'm about halfway through the video now. But this is my Cool Master Box in me by Aerospeed. I got this a few years back, brand new. And this is one of my favorites in my collection. I really like how smooth this is. It's a quiet fan. And it's good for the price. Um, so, I've been using this thing a lot. And I had... This one here, I had a 2019 Nantucket Breeze stand fan I got, like, really early spring this year that I had here, but this kind of ended up what I went with because it was smaller. So, it works a bit better. In my father's room, we have the Harbor Breeze Classic style, which has dirty blades now. This fan also is getting a lot of use. Um, nothing really wrong here with this fan. It just continues to work. So... Yeah, might make another video of it at some point in time. I'll get to the bedroom shortly. The bathroom has a Harbor Breeze Moderm. This fan, oh, it looks like it's been getting used because I see dust and crap on the blades. Since my uncle moved in, this fan has been getting a good bit of use. I'm going to turn it on for a bit. This fan was a bit overpriced in my opinion. I felt like it should have been... $50 in most, so it's about 80 something. It has an LED disc in it, which I guess is kind of nice. It's a little 30 inch fan. It's pretty good. At the time when I got this, I didn't have any of my breezeways or anything, or I would have put a breezeway up in here. But this fan seems to do a pretty good job in this room, so it's gonna stay. There's really no reason to replace it. Well, disregard the mess, it's a bit dirty up here. My When my uncle moved in, this is the attic area which he's been staying in. And uh, originally I was using the Gal... not Galaxy. I was using my Tatung, my gray Tatung fan. And that fan, sadly, the bearings on it ended up locking up after getting a lot of use. So this fan is what I put in here. About a week ago, well actually no, more like two weeks. 
um, to replace it, and it's been getting used. Eventually, I'll fix the tap tongue, and my uncle, he has a 12-inch sunbeam made by Kill Horn that's over at his house that I'll bring over, and that should hopefully go up here. He also has a 16-inch low penis desk fan, I mean, 16-inch low penis stand fan, and that 16-inch classic breeze I used to have, which there's an old video of that on this channel. I will say I really like the 2150 Galaxy fans. They're really smooth and good running fans. Um, so hopefully I'll get more of them. I already have a lot, though. Uh, we'll start in the bedroom because it's National Ceiling Fan Day. This is kind of the more important thing, but it's my 52-inch Hunter Westminster. Put different glass on it. Over summer, I had a few fans in here. I know during the winter last year, I had my Harbor Breeze Breezeway in here. Then I swapped it out with a Home Trends Rainbow Blade thing early summer, end of this last year's school year. And then the pull chain on that broke, and I put this up, and this has been up ever since. I think I may have also put my Hunter Colonial up for a bit too, but I don't know. This is the main fan I remembered leaving up. Um, there's a lot of fans and stuff on my floor. It's a mess in here. Those I've not used, but this Emerson I have. The Emerson's kind of the main box stand for this room. And it just kind of gets used as white noise. Um, so, yeah, I think it's going to get put back into storage. i got another fan I'm using instead now. But, yeah. Uh, next to the bed, behind this Douglas fir, we have... This Holmes model H A N F ninety six, which I really like this. And this one's an avocado green, which is kind of a weird color for a newer fan. And this thing makes a bit makes more noise than air, I would say, but I really like it. It's a nice little fan. I like the sound of it. It's good to fall asleep to. The window, you have this 1975 Lakewood Model S223, also is Westinghouse motor. Same exact motor as actually the fan that's downstairs in the window to the Hunter um, Duracrest, except this is the free speed version. And this thing runs really smooth. Just recently picked this up. This was actually in a horse barn out of all places, which is kind of hard to believe. This fan's in near mint condition. It's only missing one slat on the back things dead quiet screws are brown which is kind of interesting I've never seen that before on a fan I've owned a few of these liquids it's in beautiful burnt orange actually have a Toastmaster I recently got that's in this color which I want to make a video of at some point in time I was debating on using it but I'm having an issue with the blade on that one where it's kind of out of clock so I have to fix it eventually once it gets fixed I will use it um guess I'll go outside and, and show both of these from the outside if anyone seen any of my recent videos you would know that one of the lights was not working but I since replaced the bulb with another dusk to dawn LED that was of the daylight variety but there's the S223 from the outside can't really beat the look of these classic box fans from outside. They look really nice. I'll stand back a good ways. I really like the stuff with the plastic blades. I, I, I prefer the metal in terms of performance, but I have to say that a lot of plastic blades from this time period, they looked kind of interesting. All the ones today, they just look generic and the same. Over here is the Duracrest, which I want to take a picture of this one, hopefully during the day when it's not crazy dark. It has the emblem on the outside as well once again it just has that nice classic box fan look to it turn on the camera and see if you can see that beautiful avocado green motor mount and motor cord comes out the center Lakewood actually has the same you can see a little bag on the control panel there Lakewood has a clear bag this one has a white bag they're made by different OEMs. The grills on this one are a bit thicker. They're kind of brittle, so they might break. So, thank you very much for watching and keep the breeze.